In this video, let me show you how to change the placeholder text dynamically using jQuery. In fact, it is very simple, right? You just have to use the ATTR method and set ATTR of placeholder and whatever text you want to display. But it didn't happen that way when I tried for a project which I was developing for another course. So let me show you the case when I had to change the placeholder text dynamically using jQuery. So I was developing a countdown timer using jQuery and here the user has to set the hours, minutes and seconds value. Now suppose I enter 10 as the text and click start, the timer will start. Okay. And at any point of time, if the user clicks the reset button, I wanted to change the text back to or the placeholder text back to HHMMSS. So normally we will try like dot ATTR of this text box, this text box and this text box. But it didn't happen by just writing dot ATTR of placeholder. So I got the solution while developing this project on how to change the placeholder text dynamically using jQuery. So I thought of sharing it with you so that somebody might find it useful. So I don't want to explain it with the help of this project because it is somewhat detailed. So let me explain it with a simple example. Okay. So this is the example we are going to see. Suppose I enter some name here, say Sarah Smith. And when I click submit, it is just displaying welcome Sarah Smith. And if I click reset, I just want to have first name as the placeholder text in this text box and last name as the placeholder text in this text box. So we will develop this case to see how to set the placeholder text dynamically using jQuery. Okay. So let's see how to do that. To illustrate this, I have already saved a web page, changed the title and also added the latest jQuery reference online. Now let me just add the required elements div with id container just to include all the required elements and for styling purpose. Okay. Then within this what all we need? Let me just add a label with text enter your name. We are just adding the first name and last name. Okay. And after this let me have two text boxes with id f name for the first one type text. And initially we are using the placeholder attribute to set the value. So first name is the value to be displayed in the text box. So the placeholder value is first name. Then let me copy this and paste it here and just change this to L name and placeholder to last name. Okay. And we are showing a message like welcome the full name, right? So let me have a P element just to show the name once the submit button is clicked. Then let me have two buttons with ID, BTN submit and text submit and one more button reset button. So button ID equal to BTN reset and text as reset. Now let me save this and check the output. See this is how it is getting displayed. Let us just try to style this a bit. Not very much but still a bit of styling will make this look more professional right. So let me add the style section style and let me first style the container. So hash container I want to display it at the center. So let me specify margin 20 px auto and let me also set the width and height for this. So 600 px as the width and 400 px as the height. Then we need to style the label and also the input. So I'm going to have the same styling for this label and input. So let me specify label comma input and let me specify a font size of say 25 px. Okay. Also for the p element let me have the same style that is increased font size. Then we have two buttons. So let me specify button. For the buttons let me specify a font size of again 25 px. I want to have rounded corners so border radius of say 5 px. And let me check how it looks like now. 
see this is how it is looking like i think 25 is not required we can specify it as 20 px because it is too big now let me save this and also for this let me specify 20 px okay see this is how it is getting displayed we are seeing first name and last name in two different rows right let me try to increase the width to 800 px and check see now they are getting displayed in the same line so this is okay i think right we can style it if required more but this is the basic styling i want now what we need to do once a user enters some text and clicks the submit button we need to display welcome the full name okay so on the click of the submit button we want to do that so let me add the script section after the style part let me add script and also dollar document dot ready event so dollar document dot ready and within this let me write function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and within this what we need to do on the click of the submit button we need to do so dollar hash btn submit dot click okay within this again function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and what i need to do i need to set the text of p so dollar p i haven't specified any id for this as there is only one p element okay dot html i want to set the text so what text i want to display welcome then a space then concatenate we need to get the name in this that is the value in this input element so i can specify dollar hash f name dot val this will give us the value of the first name if we want we can have the required attribute and input type submit but here i am not making that complicated if you want we can make sure that only if the person enters some text in the f name and l name this should happen we can implement it that way if we want but here i want to show you how to change the placeholder text using jquery or how to set the placeholder text dynamically using jquery so i am not coding the required part that is checking whether the user has entered text in this f name and l name text boxes okay assuming that there is some text i am writing the code and i want to have a space to separate the first name and last name then again i want to display the content in the l name so dollar hash l name dot val then i want to just show an exclamatory mark okay so this is how i want to display the value inside the paragraph element now let me save this and show you suppose i just click submit it will be just a welcome and the exclamation mark right so here let me just remove the outline for the button so here for the button let me specify outline to be none otherwise a blue border will be displayed right so here let me just enter sarah smith now the placeholder text is changed right it is now sarah and smith and we are not able to see the first name and last name placeholder text now now suppose i click the submit button see we are seeing welcome sarah smith now on the click of the reset button what i want to do is that i just want to hide this that is the paragraph element and also i want to set the placeholder text back to first name in this one and last name in this one so that is what i want to show you how to do that okay so on the click of the reset button we want to do that so let me specify dollar hash btn reset dot click and function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and within this first what i want to do i just want to dollar p dot hide okay so just by writing dollar p dot hide this p element will be hidden and what we normally will do to set the placeholder text using jquery we will access the element so if it, if it is for first name we will access the element and we will use the attr method and the name of the attribute is placeholder and we will set the text so it is first name right similarly for the last name how we should do it dollar hash l name dot attr of placeholder 
to be last name right last name so this is how we normally will do to set the placeholder text using jquery now let me save this and check the output suppose again i enter sara enter smith click submit we are seeing welcome sara smith if i click reset see the p element got hidden and because of that these buttons got moved to here that is okay but see here the text is not getting changed that is the placeholder text is not getting changed so what is the issue here by just specifying attr of placeholder then the text we are not able to see the change here so what we need to do actually before that let me just make this in the same line so what we can do for that i think this with this too much let me change this to 700 and check let me just enter sara smith submit reset okay we need to have some gap here right so for the button let me specify a margin top of say 10 px to have some gap between the top element now let me check it once again sara smith submit see welcome sara smith reset okay now it is getting displayed like this but the issue here is that the placeholder text is not getting changed as we expect so this is the problem i faced while developing the countdown timer where i had to change the placeholder text dynamically okay so the solution is actually very very simple you just have to specify dot val to be empty that is set the value to be empty here also val to be empty now let us check let me save this and check the output let me click sara click smith click submit welcome sara smith click reset see the text or the placeholder text is changed to first name and last name now if i again click sara and smith submit here why we are not able to see that because here we are not specifying dot show initially it is already in the visible state so this is okay but here we are hiding it so we should actually show this this is not related to the placeholder text actually but i wanted to show you that part as well now let me save this and check the output let me click sara smith sara smith click submit yes welcome sara smith reset yes the text is changed to first name and last name that is a placeholder text so by just specifying attr of placeholder and then the value we are not getting the text as we expect that is the placeholder text as we expect we have to specify val to be empty and then use attr method so that we can get the placeholder text this is actually a very simple thing right we just have to set the value to be an empty string but when i faced this issue and got the solution i just thought of sharing it with you so that some of you might find it useful when developing your own projects or examples so hope you found it useful this is how we can set the placeholder text dynamically using jquery